I want to continue about the foreign military policy being off the table, at least it should be, for presidential candidates. But first, I forgot the number one fake out by a presidential candidate on foreign policy. I overlooked Nixon. Okay? Who would have thought, this is more so than the surprises of Eisenhower, of Kennedy, of Carter, Reagan, Clinton. Nixon, fierce, anti-communist Nixon, becoming the president that opens up the door to communist China, <coughs> the prior enemy, and does detente with the Soviet Union, an avowed enemy. Nixon had been, as vice president, on the vicious side about communism as practiced in the Soviet Union. He was like the Doberman. Probably more vitriol from him in his position as vice president than any vice president in history. And it was Nixon who really altered foreign policy in just the opposite way. So one more notch in the count of presidents whose prior policies end up not being lived up to, for better or worse, it's not something you can predict from the candidacy. All right, let me define foreign military policy, because that's what's off the table. It does not include economic policy, and that should be discussed. Whether we should have trade relations with China is more of a domestic policy because what drives that is consumerism and protection of industry. Those are domestic things. China is on the other end, but not in a military fashion. Climate accords with other nations, not military policy either. Sure, they deserve to be discussed as well. All right, that's my take. Thanks for listening. Have a good weekend.